Once again, uh, this Progress uh, resupply ship was launched uh, from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan back on January 25th, delivering two and a half tons of supplies to the International Space Station, linking up to the pier's docking compartment back on January 28th. Now about 30 seconds away. And physical separation has been confirmed on docking occurring right on time at 6.04 a.m. Central Time over southeast Russia, north of the Mongolian border. About two and a half minutes from now, uh, thrusters on the Progress will fire automatically to begin a separation rate from the International Space Station that will ultimately place it 3,000 kilometers uh, behind the station for a series of engineering tests over the next week. It ultimately will be deorbited on Saturday, April 28th. And the, and the rubber bands are uh, in place as far as we can see. The seals, uh, the seals, the O-rings, the O-rings are in place. This is Moscow ISS on Space Ground 1. Go ahead. Uh, we have uh, the seals uh, looking good. I'm going to download the pictures a little bit later. Okay, copy. On board the International Space Station, Flight Engineer Oleg Kononenko, soon to become the next commander of the station, once he takes uh, a handover from uh, the current commander, Dan Burbank, next Wednesday, reporting that he, he has a variety of good... Uh, Digital photos of the uh, undocking of Progress 46. It continues to back away uh, as uh, the station begins to pass into an orbital sunset over eastern China. Down at the bottom of your screen, you can see the accordion-like uh, folded solar arrays of the Zarya module, the first element uh, launched to the International Space Station to become the International Space Station back on November 20th, 1998. Now uh, the station has passed into that orbital sunset, so our views uh, will be lost for all intents and purposes uh, of the station. Once again, undocking occurred on time at 6.04 a.m. Central Time. The visiting vehicle officer now confirms that the first uh, separation burn of the Progress thrusters has been completed. Uh, this will initiate a, a fairly aggressive opening rate, as you can see, uh, as the station begins to fade from view. That burn now complete, a 15-second firing as uh, the progress begins to hastily depart the vicinity of the International Space Station, ultimately to back away to a distance of some 3,000 kilometers away from the station for a series of thruster firings uh, between Monday and Thursday of next week that will test uh, new radar systems on the ground and the ability to track uh, Russian vehicles uh, from those new radar systems that are spread out uh, throughout uh, Russia. Now a better view of the International Space Station and the fading sun. Once again, uh, this undocking uh, leading up to the launch on Friday morning from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan of the brand new ISS Progress 47 cargo ship. 
loaded with 2.8 tons of food, fuel and supplies for the residents of the International Space Station. The launch on Friday scheduled at 7.50 and 24 seconds a.m. Central Time.